For this problem, we're looking at the equation 1 plus y equals the tangent of x times y. And what we want to do is we want to find dy dx. Our first obstacle here is that there are multiple y's. And it's going to be too hard to solve this equation for y equals 2. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use what's called implicit differentiation. And for implicit differentiation, what's going on is we're implicitly thinking of y as being some function of x. We just don't know what it is. So now back to the problem. We'll take d dx of both sides. So we want d dx of 1 plus y. And that'll be d dx of the tangent of x times y. So we'll take the derivative of both sides and that equality will remain true. When I go to take the derivative of 1 plus y, well, the derivative of 1, 1 is just a constant, so its derivative is 0. Now the derivative of y, well, that's just the derivative of y, so we write dy dx. We don't exactly know what it is. In fact, it's the thing we're trying to find, but the derivative of y is dy dx. So that'll be equal to now, when we go to do this right-hand side, there's quite a bit going on. So first, I see I have a tangent, and that's being of x times y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the chain rule. So we'll take the derivative of the tangent, which we know is secant squared, and we're going to leave that inside function the same, which is x times y. Now we have to finish out our chain rule. So we have to take the derivative of the inside function. Well, inside that function, I have a product. And we have that x times y right there. So what we're going to have to do is use the product rule. We'll start by writing the first one. That's x. We leave x the same. And we multiply that by the derivative of the second thing. So the derivative of y is dy dx. We add that to the second function left the same times the derivative of the first. And the derivative of x with respect to x, well, now that's just 1. So the equation that we now have is that dy dx is equal to secant squared of x times y times x dy dx plus y. Well, we're done taking the derivative. That's good. That step is complete. Now the problem is we need to find dy dx. And if I look at this, I have a dy dx here and a dy dx here. So we're not done. We haven't actually solved for it. It occurs twice in our equation. My first hurdle in being able to solve for dy dx is the secant squared xy. So what I'm going to do is I am going to distribute it to both terms. So my equation now becomes dy dx is equal to secant squared xy times x times dy dx plus y times the secant squared of xy. Now, the next thing that we want is we want both our dy dx terms to be on the same side of the equality. So I'm going to subtract over the secant squared xy times x times dy dx. And I get dy dx minus secant squared of xy times x times dy dx is going to be equal to y times the secant squared of xy. All right, it's just a little bit more create some space up here. So when I look at the equation that we have down below, I see that both the terms have dy dx's. So what I can do is factor it out. So let's factor dy dx out of both of the expressions on the left-hand side of the equality. First we'll get rid of everything except that equation down there. It's a little bit more erasing. And no, there we go. So let's factor out that dy dx. When I factored out of the first term, well, dy dx was the only thing there. So I'm going to be left with a 1. Then I'm going to be left with that x times
times secant squared of xy. And all of that, apparently we didn't do enough erasing, so we'll do a little bit more right there. Yeah. It will be equal to y times the secant squared of xy. Oh goodness, one more step. So we have dy dx, the thing we're trying to find, times something equal to something else. So what we're going to do is we're just going to divide both sides by y minus x secant squared xy. And when we do that, we see that dy dx is going to be equal to y times the secant squared of xy all over 1 minus x times the secant squared of xy. So even though we weren't able to solve the original equation for y, we were able to find what the slope of the tangent line to that curve is. So dy dx right here. Let's add in a little bit of color. Signify that that's our solution.